Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Cricket API in MIT Applementor. Using this, you can display their score, matches, and a lot more things with the API. So here we go. So first of all, open the MIT Applementor and click on new project. And my project name is Cricket App. You can see this is our main screen. We need to use the other data. Okay, so how we can do this? I'm going to display all the IPL matches in that first screen. Okay, using the API. So how we can do this? So first of all, I'm going to just here list view, just drag and drop this list view here and make sure that list view that's enabled is the filter option, filter, checked it, this, okay. Now we need to get an API, search here cricket data and you can see the cricketdata.org, open that website. So first of all, click on sign up now and just click on the sign up and I'm going to use here the email and name. So I'm going to use the temp email, okay. So I'm going to use that temp email, use here email, the name and sign up. Once you sign up, you will receive a password in your email. You can see we have received email to the login and put your email ID here and then the password get it from the email and just put it here and just click on login. Let me just save that password. Now we have dashboard. Okay. Now in the left side, you will see here the API test backlog playground. Just click on it and you have the lot of information. Okay. In the left side, you will see here the match info option or series info. Let's click on the series info. Once you click on this and you will see here the IPL 2025. Okay. So I'm going to use here that API to display the all matches. Okay. All the matches list. This one match name here. Okay. So, so there is around more than 60 or 65 matches. Okay. So I'm going to display all the matches. How we can do this? So first of all, copy that, that URL. Okay. Here from here. Go to the MIT App Adventure. Now, in the left side, you will see here the option of WAV connectivity. Click on it. Okay. And the connectivity just try and drop that WAV like this. Now, let's go to the block here. Now, click on that WAV and just set the URL. Okay. So, you can see the URL option here. Set that WAV URL like this. Use here the text. And I'm going to use here this one. Just paste it. Okay. Now click on the screen. So whenever the screen will initialize, okay. So whenever the screen will initialize, that will be the set. But we need to call the get function. Okay, click on the web and you can see the get. Just call it. So when we once we call that get, so we will get a response. So we will get a response like this. But we can't display that same as it is data. Okay, so we need to just display here the name of all matches. Okay, so how we can do this? So go here and uh, just use here the web and you can see the once you got a text so it means once you got a response from the api so for that i'm going to just create two variables here first variable is just name so it's just a data like this okay and i'm going to just define here the null and i'm going to just create a one one list also okay create an empty list so i'm going to just create a one more variable like this and this will be the list okay data list like this okay done now next we need to just pass that data set that data because that format we need to use as a json okay so in the left side you will see the web and you can see the json format so you can see the json text decode just call this here and the response content call this now we have a json content Okay, you have a data like this. So how I can get information of that name? So first of all, as you can see, here's an API key and here's a data. So this is the list. Okay, so if I will use the second index, this one, so I will get the data information. Okay, so first of all, make sure in MIT App Inventor, every time we use here the list, so that will not start from the zero, that will start from the one. Okay, in a programming language, in a programming concept, that always starts with zero. So if I just say here the API key should be zero in the programming language, if you are using or React or anything, if you're using the MIT, then that will be the one and that data will be the two. Okay. Now here, click on the data and just set that data. Okay. Click on the list. Okay. And you can see the get data. Okay. Select list item list, this one and the index value. So first of all, we have that raw data here, this one. But we need to get an index, like we need a second one, data. Data, me data means that one data, that one data we need, okay? So for that, I need to just call here index2, like this. 
done. Now we have a data, okay? But as you can see here, once we have this, but again under that, we have info that and we have a match list. So we don't need an info, we need a match list, okay? So again, this is the two. So how we can do this? So simply call, copy this, okay? Remove it from here and just call it like here. Done. Now, one more thing, just go here. Once we have a match, so as you can see, we have two things, okay? We have one data, this one data. As you can see, we have again, the data is ID and name. So we want the another second one, name, right? So I'm going to use here the second index value. So for that, I just call one more time is here. Okay, simply just call it and just call it here. Okay, done. Now, what we need to do here, we need to call here the loop that will get all the matches, okay? So, for that, I'm going to use here the control and click on the for loop, for each loop, okay? And here, in that, I'm going to use here the data, this one, that one, global list, two. Now, in the left side, you'll see that list option, just click on it and see add item to the list, just call it here. And in which list we need to add all items, we created that empty list and data list, just call it here, okay? And which item we need to add? This item. Okay. Once we call that item, okay, what we will receive? We receive that data. Okay. So in here, you can see that name is the second. So what we need? We need to look and pair to get a name value. Okay. So for that, I'm going to use it a dictionary. And as you can see here, the get value from key and pair. Just call it here. Okay. Delete that one item. And the key. What is the key? Key is the name. Okay that we need to find is the name and and in which dictionary is the item this is that's it now we have all the items all the names all the names which means all the kolkata night riders and the lucknow all these name in a list okay now we need to set the list and you will see here the set list item this one call it here and the data we have the data list this one we have all this, we have set all this. But first, we need to set all the data list view. Done. Now, let me just run this, how this will look and how this will work. A companion. I'm going to use this one. Now, you can see, I have just scanned the code. And you can see, this is the list of all the matches, right? You can see the sunrises, Hyderabad, and all the list we have. Like this, okay? You can search that list, uh, like here. You can, if you want to know how many uh, Mumbai, okay? Where is that Mumbai? You can see the Mumbai 16, then 21st, then 31st we have, right? So we created a cricket app where we are fetching all the matches, real-time matches, list in MIT App Inventor using the API. And you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.